The first one I got wasn't so much a request because I heard about it after I downloaded it. This is Electrode Factory. And just note that the hyphen in the beginning actually puts this above everything else because it's in alphabetical order. So if you want to do your levels, maybe you should put something in front of it so that it comes up first. Electrode Factory. Slide enabled. Just the buster, so it's going to be a straightforward level. Nothing too fancy here. Just some straight, pure Mega Man. Alright. Oh no. That's not a good start. So I've been playing Mega Man since Mega Man 2 actually. Oh crap, the controller screwed up. No joke. Maybe the plug is uh, a little wonky. Alright. Yeah, that's the thing about the PlayStation controllers. I Again, are you serious? I wasn't- I beat this level earlier, I wasn't struggling on it. I want to keep it wired so that I have that, um, reaction time. Cause dude, the wireless control thing- oh no, come back here, anti-Eddie. Alright. It's better to have your- it's better to have your controls plugged in, so that you, uh, get the response you need. Cause sometimes when you're using the wireless, it intermittently drops out, or there's a bit of a delay. So I always want to keep the control plugged in. But the PlayStation controls sometimes they don't want to they don't want to stay uh, flush with the with the hole. All right. All right, so far so good, nothing too tricky, and I'm playing like a complete ass right now because I'm pretty much hitting every enemy possible. It's a new challenge I invented: hit every single enemy and still clear the stage. Oh, here, here's a checkpoint. That's a good, uh, good use of a check. I want to break this, but I don't have anything. And there's these little uh, hooks for the, for the spark hook shot thing, whatever the hell it's called. But you don't have an item on this, so I guess they're just for decoration. Well, wow. this is what I call an easy level. I mean, I wasn't even trying there. Alright, I'm gonna mind my health a little bit more, try not to get bombarded by every enemy. So... Ugh! I wonder if I can make that jump. So far, 2020 hasn't been a great start for games, like, you know, new games. And I'm looking at the up-and-coming list for what's coming out this year, and not much. Not much until the next generation of consoles, I guess. Oh, man. You know it's not on the list for 2020, Mega Man Maker, even though it should be. All right, I'm gonna change my philosophy again and focus on just not getting hit by the nails, because I don't even care about the enemies. I'm sure I can farm for health or find a, find something, but... The spikes are a different story. Alright. Look at this thing. It's supposed to switch the... conveyor belts or whatever they're called. The sound effects in this are great, by the way. They're actually, they're actually better than the um, some of the original Mega Man's, because especially, ooh, whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on a second, especially the charge, because the the problem I had with four, five, and six, oh, man. the problem I had with four, five, and six is that the charge was too loud. So if you held the button the whole time, you didn't get to hear the awesome music. But they fixed that in Mega Man Maker, so you just hear the beginning of the charge, and then it kind of. Kind of winds down. All right, sheep man. That's pretty easy. So if he's over there, you can just kind of uh, take out all of his class at the same time. I wonder if that was intended or not. And last one. Oh man, they didn't give it to me. There we go. Gave it to me that time. Is that it? Sweet. That was good. Short and sweet. 
Uh, cannon ducks. Yeah, I remember someone sending me cannon ducks. We got the snake, the metal blade, concrete. This is gonna be a fun one. Alright. So yeah, as long as people keep sending me levels on Mega Man Maker for them, I'm gonna keep playing them. Ah, uh, Springman. Haven't seen him in a while. Hmm. Where to go? Can I go left? I always go left first. Because I know that's a, that's a good place to hide your E-tanks. Hmm, what do we have? Snake, metal blade, concrete, top. I don't think I can hit him right now. Oh well. Just a tease. Multicolor ladders. Looks like there's a UV li a UV light on them or something. Right, I just want to see if I could take him out. I probably could have dodged that. That wasn't too tough. So yeah, 2020 with games. Um, what are you guys looking forward to? Because I don't really have much on my radar. I mostly just look at the... Ah, oh, nails. Wasn't looking there. Alright, back on this screen. Yeah, just take the hit. Doesn't matter. Take the hit again. 2020, what are you looking forward to? There's only a few games I got on my radar right now, and that's uh, Command & Conquer Remastered. I'm also holding out for, you know, PS5 during the holiday season or whenever the hell they decide to release it. I hope it gets some good launch titles. I don't know if we're going to see GTA 6 though, I was hoping for that. It's been so long since I played GTA. And I don't want to go back and play the old ones, I just want the new one to come out. Alright. That's generally what you get though during the, uh, the year of new consoles. There's not really too many new games coming out. But if there's any indie titles, especially with... Ah, ha, ha. Especially with good music, just let me know. I'll definitely take a look at them. Right now I'm just playing through my Steam library. Some older games. Not super old, but just like the past few years. That have good soundtracks that I want to make sure people know about. And that's kind of why I didn't really get too into Mega Man 11. Because the soundtrack. The soundtrack is fine, but like, they need to add, they, it needed to be like retro chip, chip tune, and it just wasn't. That was my, my biggest disappointment about Mega Man 11. The game itself was pretty good though, and I like all the extra modes, like the balloon, the balloon run and all the, I keep missing these, these walls, you can't shoot through them. I wish they had a more elegant, um, hard tile, like this. Instead of having to put your empty weapon tile there. Anyway. Ooh. I like this Magnet Man uh, tile set they're using. Oh. I got tripped up by the multiple ladders for a minute. There's something there. I forget what it was, but it wasn't it. Anything over here? I'm pretty sure Mega Man 12 is happening, so I'm definitely going to pick that up when it comes out. I didn't pick up Mega Man 11 when it came out because of the demo. Like, the demo was so bad. I kind of knew it, though. Like, when I, when I tried it, I'm like, oh, this is going to be a good game. Too bad the demo sucks. I recommend they, like, take that off the store so people don't play that. Because it was just like, that's not really how you want to experience Mega Man. You want to like, open that first screen and see all the faces and who do I want to kill first. What do we got here? I forget what his weakness is. Not snake. Is it metal? What about concrete? Oh yeah, there it is. And I got E-tanks up the ass, so this shouldn't be too tough. Yeah, in case you haven't seen the concrete shot yet, it's pretty its pretty uh, versatile. You can use it as a weapon or as an extra block to jump on. Good! 
Another easy and good level. I like these. Thumbs up. <sighs> what the fuck was it called? It was called Tank something. Tank. Q R S T T. Tech Tech Temple. There it goes. Tech Temple. We got the Buster, the Lemon, and the Drill. Not the Drill. What the hell is it called? The Pile Driver. I like the background. And the um. The tile set looks like it's from Block Man, I believe. Mega Man 11. That was the demo stage for the Mega Man 11 demo. It's a good stage and all, and so is the boss. Like I like I like the gameplay and the level and the level. Uh, um, even though they changed the retro style, it didn't really hurt the game too much. And this I think is different. I think the guy modded this game because I don't remember this being in the uh, original. Yeah, people are making mods for Mega Mega Man Maker now. Whoa. Ooh, I want this. So it's not exactly like Blockman stage, but it just has the same running theme, I, I guess. I might do a playthrough of, uh, of Eleven. If anybody wants to, just let me know in the comments. I didn't platinum it or anything, but I beat it a couple times on different settings and tried a bunch of the the variants. They have different modes on there where you can run through. It's pretty sweet. I don't even need that. Why am I getting that? Let me play with some items here. Ah! Yeah, this is definitely a mod. I don't remember this being in there. That's awesome, though. So it'd be cool to make like a giant boss. Who's ever doing these, do, do like a giant boss level for me. That'd be awesome. Ooh. Unnecessary use of a... Uh... Oh. Oh man, right in the crevice. I'm gonna run through this one as a proto man. No, should I? Yeah, I'm going to. Let's see how this works. Okay, so the big difference with Proto Man is that he has a shield when he jumps. Let's see if it works. Yeah, it also reflects. Wow. Oh no. Oh man. And he dropped a, a life capsule. What a bummer. I also played Super Mario Maker 2 for the Nintendo Switch, and that was pretty good. I think I got like five or six levels made on that. There's some video on my channel, you can go search for it. They're all based on Piranha Plant. Yeah, not, not before too long we'll have mods with Piranha Plants and Mega Man Maker. Alright, I'm low on health, so I'm gonna try to take care of myself a little bit better. These aren't blind runs, by the way. I did play them once before, earlier in the week. Ugh, oh, man, this sucks. Maybe we'll see Mega Man 12 in 2020. It'd be a good year for a Mega Man game, 2020 and all. Make up for the rest of the lousy gaming year. And they can put it on both the old and new gen consoles. It doesn't matter, you know? It's not like... Oh, goodness. Stone Man. I feel bad for Stone Man. It's so predictable. Oh no. Do I have an E tank? I don't think I do. I shouldn't need one though. I mean, Stone Man is a joke. Aw oh, man. I wish I didn't have Proto Man's lousy blaster. Oh, you suck, Proto Man. 
But at least you got that cool intro music, so I forgive you. And I really appreciate the checkpoint there, thank you so much. Ooh, that was cool. I'm gonna try that again. Can I do that on purpose? So the stones can destroy the spiky rollers. See, like, every single time I play this, I'm gonna learn something new. And hopefully the people watching will, too. I'm, I'm torn between trying to hit his, um... Ugh. I just want to finish this off now. Actually trying to kill him and trying to destroy that last spike. Alright. Oh no. Cool. And he comes with the pile driver. It's awesome. Nice. I need some health. Should I just take a dive? Should I try to make it through with two bars? Oh, crap. Yeah, that was bound to happen. Now I'm gonna fill up on the weapon. And here comes the block puzzle. Come on. There we go. Whoa. See? You can just jump across the gap like that. It's a, it's a good functional weapon. Alright, more fire. Everyone loves to put fire in their level. Oh, do I want it? I don't care. No. See, I got one anyway. Uh-oh. Alright. Come on. Oh, really? Alright, I'm way ahead of the fire this time. Should be good. Ooh, haha. I anticipated them. And a checkpoint. Alright, this SOB. I don't think he has a weakness, no. I think I just gotta jump around like a dork and. Can I reflect that? Ha! Ah, I can. Great. Doesn't do me too good, but whatever. Alright, fair enough. Good thing I chose Proto Man, I think he has an advantage in this fight. Oh, I could pile drive those. I don't need it though. Alright. I think they made Pharaoh Man a little bit easier. I think he's just like a little bit less random or something. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think. It's probably why they didn't give him any weaknesses. They figured it was he was easy enough anyway. No. Our blame being at an angle from the television on that foul. Alright, there we go. Should still get it though. There we go, that was a good level. Three for three today. I think I have time to do my own, so let's try that one now. Got 8% left on my battery, so we got time for one more. This is a level I call Impact Run. Starts off with a wheel, whoa. Then you have to switch to the pile driver, but you have infinite pile driver on this one. Oh, there's, I forgot where I put my nails. All right. You don't have infinite wheel though, but you only need one to get across this thing. Let's try again. I think it's a pretty fun combo, the the wheel and the pile driver. You can do a lot of neat stuff with that. This whole part, you don't need the oh great. Prove that. You don't need the it's called an elevator, but it doesn't elevate in this one. It just goes left and right. 
This thing, you don't actually need it. You can po you can just uh, go across the whole thing from left to right with with um, with the weapon. I'll try to prove it, but I'm not gonna do it because um, I really want to beat the level. But I will try it once to show you. No, 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 no. All right. Should I try showing it again? All right. Try it one more time. I don't have one of those turbo controllers, but it does work. All right. Go up here. It works sometimes. You know, I really fucking hate my camera because, like, it doesn't stay... It doesn't stay on when I plug it into the wall. And when I charge the battery, it'll say green, and then I'll look at it, it'll say 100%, and then I'll come back to it, and it'll be like 0%. I don't know what's wrong with it. Probably the asshole who sold it to me is an asshole. I'm gonna find him. Actually, I'm gonna show you how to get this. There's a checkpoint here. I'll show you how to get the E-Tank in case you're curious. By the way, even though I totally suck at this, I did test the levels to make sure you can beat them without getting hit. And uh, I'm not proving that very well right now. But see, I have a checkpoint right there, so it's all good. It's not too tough. Alright. Take this, and if you hear that sound, that means you get the tank, and you're golden. Come back here. It has multiple paths too, so if you want to see the top part, go ahead and download the level. Play at your own leisure. Go like this, switch to the pile driver. Ah, oh, you friggin... Or I can just show you the top right now, since I screwed that up majorly. I still retain the E-Tank as far as I know. Oh, come on. <laughs> Sniper Joe. There we go. You do something like that. And you don't want to kill that guy. So if you do kill that guy, you just have to go back and respawn him. Alright, so he's like this. And I go, whoa! And I catch that. And we're good. And we have another E-Tank! So you can get two E-Tanks if you want. Alright, this shouldn't be a problem. Oh, come on. And you gotta watch out, because if those fire dudes get down there, they can burn you. I'm gonna try to farm for health here. And it worked. Good. I got an itch on my nose, but I don't feel like pausing. So I'm just gonna have to play with the itch on my nose. Phew. Alright, there's some more secrets up here. Should I show you? I guess I will. I guess I'll show you. So you can get that, if you want. And you can do that again, if you want. And go up here. Three E-Tanks, come on. Can I make this even easier for you? And you can switch- ooh. Uh, yeah, surprise biome, my own stuff. I completely forgot I made this like two weeks ago. Forgot the room was like this. This is a new item in 1.6, the, the thing in the middle, the moving platform. I believe this is Fat Man. So, I'm gonna be a total loser and use an E-Tank right there. Oh, come on. So I have a challenge for you guys. Try beating one of my levels without taking any damage. And uh, make a video and send it to me. And if you got any levels, just uh, leave a message in the comments and I'll be happy to check them out. Later.